in addition to being essential for the translation of proteins. It now appears that ribosomes have a previously undescribed role in the regulation of proteins. Ribosomes are themselves complex structures made of multiple RNAs and perhaps 79 proteins uh, or so. It now appears that these proteins can vary from ribosome to ribosome. While there are some proteins which are present in apparently all ribosomes, there are others which are only present in some ribosomes. The presence of some of these proteins can give a ribosome a more specialized function in translating RNAs because apparently untranslated region of the five prime region of RNA transcripts interacts with some of these proteins in ways that either encourage or discourage translation. And some of these seem to have unique roles where they are required for the translation of specific RNAs. And thus, there may be specialization in ribosomes, and thus cells can vary the types or classes of ribosomes that they produce, which then affects translation. If a ribosomal protein is removed or inactivated, this affects translation of some, but not all, proteins. So, for example, ribosomal protein L38 seems to be vital in the translation of the homeodomain Hox cluster genes essential in embryonic patterning. The ribosomal protein L21, uh, its loss causes the absence of body hair. The ribosomal protein L5 apparently is involved in the differentiation of T cells and misexpression uh, can be involved in leukemia. In the expression of some of these proteins, for example, um, the ribosomal protein L10A um, increases the translation of certain mRNAs, such as those involved in cell growth, but decreases the translation of other mRNAs, such as those involved in the stress response. 